Hello everyone, I'm Dr. X. Welcome back to my channel. The US stock market have experienced a negative 15% correction in the last few days. The Fed made an emergency rate cut. As for stock market, different people have different ideas and trading strategies. However, 90% of people who trade on the stock market lose money. Is there any deep mathematical theory behind the scene? We will talk about it today. Let's start with a simple game. A game between the beast and the witch. It's like the story of a Disney movie. A rich, arrogant prince is cursed to live as a terrifying beast until he is able to win the game versus an evil witch. How to play this game? The rules are as follows. Both the witch and beast have a quarter. They can choose any one side of their coin and show it up at the same time. If both coins have their observed size facing up, the witch will have to give the beast $3. If both coins have reverse size facing up, the witch gives the beast $1. If one coin have observed side facing up and the other one have reverse size facing up, then the beast have to lose $2 to the witch. In this case, the beast income of playing this game will be negative. After a thousand runs of game, who earns money will be the winner. It looks like a fair game. Let's draw the probability table to elaborate. Obviously, according to the probability calculation, two observed sides facing up is one quarter. Two reverse sides facing up is also one quarter. One observed and one reverse is one half. So if the beast play four games with the witch, then ideally his net game will be 3 plus 1 minus 2 minus 2, which equals to 0. It looks like a fair game, and the beast can also earn lots of money if he's lucky enough. However, after many rounds of game, the beast found himself were losing money all the time. Why is it? Let's look at this table. The witch and beast have to think about their strategies to play the game. Apparently, if they want to win the game, they cannot always choose one side of the coin. Let's assume that the probability of the beast choose observed side is PB. Then his probability of choosing the reverse side is 1 minus PB. Same for the witch. The probability of the witch choose observed side is PW. Then her probability of choosing reverse side is 1 minus PW. Now let's calculate the mathematical expectation of the beast earning after one game. To briefly introduce mathematical expectation, also known as expected value, it's the summation or integration of a probability value from a random number. In our game, it's equal to the amount of money the beast earns times its probability. The game can have four outcomes. First, that is two observed sides facing up. The probability is PB times PW. Then we use the result multiplying three to get the expectation. Second, the beast earns $1 when the two reverse sides facing up. The expectation will be one minus PB multiplying by one minus PW, then multiply by one. The beast will lose money for both the third and the fourth cases. We can simply calculate this probability as PB times 1 minus PW plus PW times 1 minus PB. Then the expectation is multiplying this number by negative 2. After simplifying this equation, we get the expectation of the beast EB equal to 8PB times PW minus 3PB minus 3PW plus 1. PB and PW are numeric values between 0 and 1 because they are both probability. Now, let's review this problem. The beast wants to make his expectation as big as possible to earn more money and return to his human body shape. However, the witch wishes the opposite. She would like to make the expectation of the beast EB as small as possible. The only thing they can do is to adjust the values of PB and PW. Is there a strategy for the witch to make EB 
negative all the time. That means the beast is always losing. To study the which strategy PW, let's assume that EB is less than zero, and we can combine PW and expectation equation. After rearranging the inequality, it becomes 8PB minus 3 times PW is less than 3PB minus 1. This is an inequality. To solve it, we have to discuss the sign of 8PB minus 3. When 8PB minus 3 is larger than 0, we have PB is larger than 3 over 8. Then we divide the inequality by 8PB minus 3 in both sides. PW is less than 3PB minus 1 over 8PB minus 3. That means as long as PW is less than the minimum of 3PB minus 1 over 8PB minus 3. Expectation of B is always negative. Let's plot this function on Wolfram alpha. We can see from this function image that when PB is larger than 3 over 8, the function value is descending. So the minimum value of function 3PB minus 1 over 8PB minus 3 is when PB equals 1. Then we calculate the value of PW. That is equal to 2 over 5. In conclusion, when PB is larger than 3 over 8, as long as PW is less than 2 over 5, the beast is always losing money. Now let's discuss another situation. When 8PB minus 3 is less than 0, or PB is less than 3 over 8, in this case, divide an inequality by a negative number, we must flip the inequality sign. It becomes that PW is larger than 3PB minus 1 over 8PB minus 3. To make the expectation of B less than 0 all the time, the PW has to be larger than the maximum value of the function 3PB minus 1 over 8PB minus 3. Again, from this function image, we can see that when PB is less than 3 over 8, it's also a descending function. That means the smaller the PB, the bigger its function value, and it reaches its maximum when PB is equals to zero. At this time, PW has to be larger than one over three. If you pay attention to our analysis, there is an overlap between PW less than two over five and PW larger than one over three. When PW is between one over three and two over five, the beast's earning expectation, EB, is always negative, no matter what strategy the beast is using. The beast won't win the game, and he will never return back to the prince. That is a problem in game theory. What does the beast and which stands for in the stock market? The witch is like the institutional investors or major shareholders who control the majority of the stock shares. They can easily pull up share prices and push them down. The beast is more like individual investors who can buy long or sell short of a stock. If institutional investors pull up a stock price and we happen to do a long trading, we can make a lot of income. If institutional investors push down a stock price and we are doing a short trading, there are also some profit for us. But if we go to the wrong direction with them, we can lose money. It looks like the stock price fluctuates and we can make profits from its price change. If you lose money, it's due to your bad luck. But the truth is that people who has the power to control the market will design a strategy to earn your money all the time. As a result, you will barely make profit from the stocks with such speculation. If you are an individual investor who trades in stock market, I have two advice here. First, stay calm and keep a good attitude. It helps you to think rationally. Second, focus on stocks with good fundamentals and prospects for future development. Be careful of small cap thin stocks which are in hot sector to attract individual investors because you never know if there is a witch behind the stocks. Thanks for watching. If you have any ideas about the stock market, 
welcome to leave a comment and let me know. If you like my video, please subscribe, turn on the notifications, and share my videos. Thank you for your support and see you next time.